guys, I'm Voisco here with another episode of Tasty Games. Now, for those of you who have played Paper Mario, you know that you can have dishes cooked for you by a certain toad who goes by Tasty. And I've come up with three lists to share with you guys. The top five, one, most benefits, two, the most realistic, and three, the most tasty. We're gonna start with the most benefits. At number five, we have Maple Ultra, restores 50 HP and 10 flower points. But we also have a tie because depending on how you like to play the game, you could enjoy a Jelly Super, which is the exact same thing as a Maple Ultra, just opposite, where it restores 10 HP and 50 flower points FP, so. At number four, we have the Sweet Shroom, which restores 30 HP and 20 FP. At number three, we have the Deluxe Feast, restores 40 and 40. At number two, the Jelly Ultra, which restores 50 and 50. And at number one, the Life Shroom, which revives at death with 10 HP. Now, some of you may disagree with that first one being, you know, the first one, but it doesn't matter if you, you know, if you don't have anything left and you die and you don't have anything, any of these two through five to help restore you, that number one's gonna save your life. And I think that that getting a second chance is probably the best item you could have. Moving on, top five most realistic. Okay, this is all about can you, could you make it in real life whether it's tasty or not. So starting with number five, the yummy meal, which is potato salad and spaghetti. I don't know who'd want to eat potato salad and spaghetti together, but you know, hey, whatever works for you. And we also have a tie with the deluxe feast, which is potato salad and a shroom steak. Now, you could just fry up a shroom and, you know, shroom steak works. Mushrooms are gross, but you know, whatever, it works. Number four is coop pasta, which is made of dry pasta and a koopa leaf, which I could imagine would be spinach, you know, like a nice spinach in your spaghetti, you know, whatever. I would never do it, but it works. Number three, the big cookie. You mix an egg and cake mix, and we were gonna put cake, but it is just cake mix, which, you know, we could say that just cake mix works, but you kind of have to add the eggs and the water and the oil, or, you know, depending on what kind of cake you buy, plus the frosting, I mean, frosting doesn't come out of a cake box, so. Anyways, moving on. Number two, spaghetti made from just dried pasta. Doesn't get any simpler than that, really. I mean, you know, I know people who eat dried pasta all the time. Might as well make spaghetti out of it. <laughs> and number one, the most realistic, the most easy, even an idiot could do it, a fried egg. But it's also tied with a boiled egg. Fried egg, you just cook an egg. And then the boiled egg is egg and a strange leaf or an herb. I don't know why you'd boil herbs in with your eggs, but you know, it's just a boiled egg, so whatever, works there. Moving on, top five most tasty. Now this one I am excited about because, come on, it's tasty. Pictures, they look good, it's awesome. At number five, we have an electric pop, or excuse me, an electro pop. And I don't know really what it, it I mean, it doesn't really look good, but I know that it takes like an electric shroom to make it. And to me, that just kind of reminds me of something like lemony or like kind of like a sour kick to it. And it just, I love that, like those sour candies, you know? And so that just sounds super good to me. Moving on, number four, coop pasta, which I had mentioned up before, you know, could be spinach topped on top of spaghetti um the sound of spinach and spaghetti doesn't look good to doesn't sound good but this picture looks delicious it kind of looks like it's got like a pesto sauce maybe like some grated parmesan cheese on top it just it looks very good and at number three we have and you're probably gonna laugh but it says spicy soup and there's just something about the picture 
when we were choosing these, when we were just sitting down and saying, yeah, I kind of like this one, that just make me want food. And it's literally a bowl with yellow liquid in it and a spoon, and that's it. But it just looks so delicious. And it really made me, like, really hungry. And Link584 thought it was funny to laugh at me because he wanted to add spicy soup to Zesty's, which you will see later on, because that one had more detail. But I still liked the very simple key-looking spoon and bland soup bowl over the more detailed one, so we laughed for quite some time about that. So that was pretty funny. Number two is this little this little pocket. It looks like almost like it could be bite size, like maybe the size of combos, but you know, in a different form. Number two is an apple pie. And it just looks like little like a little bite-sized apple pie bite. Like Maybe you've got like a, like a hard, not like a hard crust, but like a kind of a crackery, you know, firm crust with this delicious gooey apple pie filling and bite-sized pieces. So you get that perfect combo of that apple filling and that crust flavor and a good crunch and like a good gooey center, which mixes together so well and it just, it looks really good. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little hungry. And number one was a tie. We have one cake. It's pink. It looks like maybe it's got some strawberry frosting in the middle. It's got some white, you know, frosting or whipped cream on top of this cake. And what could be a strawberry or a raspberry on top. It looks clean and tasty and just you know, very sweet, you know, maybe something that you have like a little bite, maybe like a little tart, you know, little bite-sized pieces here and there. But then this one, the reason I added this one was because I think I enjoyed this one more, and Link584 took the strawberry cake, or just cake, whatever. But I chose the nutty cake, and it, it looks like a round, kind of like a topped, I don't know how to explain it, like a topped little bun or a roll and you maybe cut into it and it just looks like it's cinnamony and it's got some like nutmeg in it and it has pecans and just all these delicious like nutty flavors and it's good and kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon tart and it's got like a little dollop of, you know, maybe custard inside or um, whipped cream on top and it just, it looks so delicious. I don't know about you, but definitely I want to go find Tasty and ask her to make me one. And so those are my three lists. However, I do have one little tidbit at the end. I have a top one list. And the most disgusting food that Tasty can make for you is a fried shrew. Now, I, it, it just, it looks horrible. I can't even, I can't even describe to you. It looks like shriveled and, and dead and gross. And it's like, what in the world were you thinking when you made this food? Who's going to eat a fried mushroom? Like just one, like it's, I mean, their mushrooms are huge in comparison to Mario. So it's like, you know, the size of freaking like bigger than a hamburger or something. And you're just going to eat it with no side, no sauce. You're just going to sit there and just eat a grilled mushroom. That's disgusting. And I think that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching this episode of Tasty Games. And Link584 later on will have zesties for you. So please look forward to that. If you liked what you saw, please like subscribe, share with your friends, because remember sharing is caring, and uh, come back soon. <laughs>